Electrical engineering is pretty much anything that deals with electricity. So if you want to work on computers, radar, cell phones, uh, any sort of information processing, um, that's all electrical engineering. So electrical engineering is structured with a set of core classes. And then there's also four areas of subspecialization. So there's uh, electromagnetics and like, lasers and photonics, so on. Computer engineering, computer architecture, uh, signal processing and communications, and there's also integrated circuits and electronics and electronic devices. Electrical engineering to me is uh, it's not necessarily a, a field, it's more like a tool set. You know, when I, um, when I was studying electrical engineering, I learned about circuits, I learned about semiconductors, I learned about electromagnetic fields, I learned about analyzing and measuring signals. Okay, these all were just incredibly cool to me because I could see them everywhere in life, you know? Uh, I chose to become an electrical engineer after talking with uh, one of my family members who's a uh, professor of electrical engineering and he uh, allowed me to realize that electrical engineering offers a wide breadth in the industry and of subjects covered and um, personally I couldn't decide what I wanted to do right out of college or what I'm going to do in two or three years and so electrical engineers keeps a lot of, a lot of doors open for me. I chose electrical engineering because I knew it was challenging but very rewarding when I came in. My dad is an electrical engineer and he told me a lot about control systems and computer organization, architecture, and more importantly robotics. I'm a huge fan of robotics. I wanted to get involved in electrical engineering to be able to do research in those areas and um, really after my first class I just fell in love with it. I don't know, I mean like I've always been into electronics and stuff so this seemed like a, uh, a natural major to choose, but I mean like I like it's difficult but it's pretty rewarding and I also like all the math. I really like how electrical engineering is so applicable for all these different fields. Like you can go into computers, signal processing, communications, radar, robotics, pretty much anything that uses electricity deals with electrical engineering somehow. What I think is cool about engineering and particularly electrical engineering is that it allows you, it gives you a, a very deep insight into a lot of things that are happening around you. From the way you see, to the way you hear, to the way sights and, and, and sounds can be stored, um, to the way you can generate new types of information, I, I find that to be beautiful. So electrical engineering is challenging, which is always great. It's, it also, it's, it's tough, it's tough, but you meet some great people who are you know, quirky, but awesome and really cool at the same time. And when you get something done, you want to accomplish something and build your perfect project, it's incredible to see how things actually work. Well, I just started some research recently with the Interaction Labs. They deal with human-robot interaction. And what I love most about that research project is we are developing robotic interaction and code and designs, basically, to help robots work with stroke patients and kids with autism. So really, it helps me to kind of fuse the EE stuff I've learned in class with a lot of um, applications that really help people. In my linear circuits class for our end of the year project, we actually built a guitar and built circuits to tune the, tune the strings or to all these fancy effects in. So I've worked on a lot of very interesting projects uh, in electrical engineering, but I have to say my favorite ones that I've worked on so far is uh, designing a 4-bit adder from scratch down to the transistor level, laying it out and simulating it completely, which was really cool. Uh, it looks a mess when you're done, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Another really interesting project was uh, a voltage amplifier that I designed and built from scratch for analog circuitry. And that was a whole other adventure, frustration, but, and, but pride at the same time. I work on magnetic resonance imaging. So I, my lab and, and I develop new methods for imaging the human body using magnetic fields and this physical principle called nuclear magnetic resonance. I'm involved in uh, USC competition robotics team. I'm on the underwater team. And uh, we build a autonomous submarine that competes yearly. I'm on the electrical team, and so I get a lot of great hands-on experience, like designing uh, circuit boards and such, and learning about uh, concepts like filtering, and also just learning from other people who uh, have more experience in the area than I do. I triply um, stands for Institute of Electronics and Electrical Engineers. What we do is we do a lot of social, professional, philanthropic, and um, just student activities. So uh, we'll go bowling sometimes for student orgs, we'll go to yogurt land and do fundraising. Um, we'll also bring in companies and we'll have a lot of companies come speak about positions 
as an electrical engineer, uh, what they can do at the company, and get internship opportunities that way. Last summer I was actually an intern at Cisco, and even though it was mostly software, all the testing features I was doing, they were all involved with electrical engineering, so having all that background really helped me understand everything, and it's really cool to just know that what I was learning in class actually was used in the real world. I had an internship experience with General Atomics and Nautical Systems Incorporated this past summer in San Diego. It was a very interesting internship, a very interesting company. Got to work on uh, autonomous air vehicle flying vehicles and worked on everything from electrical systems to mechanical systems to fuel systems. And I learned a lot about everything, but I focused mostly on electrical and I found that I learned so much that you just don't learn in school, but at the same time you use a lot of the things you learn from your education, which is a really rewarding experience. An undergraduate degree uh, nowadays is it's really a foundation. You can go into a lot of different fields. Uh, many, many graduates uh, go into healthcare work, health-related health work, or um, you know, aerospace-related work, uh, devices, uh, consumer electronics. There, there's a whole uh, many fields you can go into.